Jace Tunnel here. Today we're going to talk to you about a sargasm swimming crab. Yeah, it's found in all of this sargasm and it only lives in this sargasm. And it's a fierce predator feeding on all kinds of stuff that live in there. So let's get in and talk about this. Ah! ah oh my gosh! These things, uh. Shoot. Okay, so these crabs here, now this one only has one claw, but I don't know if you can see the colors there, and I'll try to get some close-up shots here, but it really looks like the sargassum. It's kind of camouflaged in the seaweed so that things can't see it, and that's because of the predators that like to eat it, like birds, which they're looking at me right now, you can hear them, um, but fish, even sea turtles. Uh, these can also be found not just on sargassum, but also on loggerhead sea turtles. So loggerheads, whenever they're younger, they hang out a lot in the sargassum and uh, that's offshore. And the crabs will actually live on their backs and kind of uh, feed, uh, like epi epibiota is what we call that in science. Um, the, these are found in the Atlantic, in the Caribbean, uh, in the Gulf, obviously. Uh, and why is that? It, that's because they're actually, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in here uh, so that it can survive and breathe there. Oh yeah, it's looking like it's loving it in there. Uh, the reason we find these in um, those areas of the, the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf is because that's where the sargassum seaweed is. Uh, that's their primary home. They have modified back legs for paddling that's why it's called a swimming crab it looks similar to like a blue crab um, you know it has these paddles on the hind legs for it to be able to swim uh, that's what uh, that's what these have and it's interesting you know you see a lot of crabs and they don't have those modified paddles for swimming and you know they a lot of crabs live on the bottom we call that benthic but these are pelagic, so they're living up in the water, uh, in the water column. It's pretty wild. These things feed on all kinds of stuff. So I'll show you some, an example of some of the stuff they feed on. But uh, they're really like ambush predators. So because they can hide and they're camouflaged, they sort of hide away in that sargasm and wait for something to come by and then grab it. And it could be... Um, a little fish it could be even another crab they even eat their own species uh, it could be a nudibranch a uh, little shrimp you know all kinds of stuff living in this sargasm uh, for it to feed on these are pretty small crabs when you think about other crabs that you find um, you know in the ocean these uh, you know three inches in size is about max size so the one that i have here is probably a couple of inches in size um, i did find one earlier that was a female and the female had orange eggs all on the bottom of it and um, that's how you can tell the difference between the male and the female and actually the males have larger claws as well now if these some for some reason they fall off the back of a sea turtle or or you know off of the big mat of sargasm that they're on they can survive they can live down to 60 feet in depth um, so, you know, it's, it's not that they just have to stay at the surface. Uh, they can live two to three years, and uh, if, as, as long as they don't get eaten by something. And yes, I know y'all are asking, can we eat these? Yeah, you can eat them. It would sure take a bunch of them to get full since there's only three inches in size. But uh, yeah, they're edible, uh, like a lot of other stuff in the ocean. So, that is a lot of stuff living in there. The crab's jumping in all over the place now i can't really uh reach out here so i'm swimming back in we'll catch you on the next beach coming bye